Hello friends. So we have another vlog for you. I'm working on my Regency dress. If you can hear that water sound, it's because my window's open. And we have a pond in the backyard, so it makes noise. I am going to show you where I am. So here I am on sleeves. The sleeves are made and flatlined, although you can kind of see like I flatline closer to the edge than they say so that when I iron, I can iron out all the weird like extra because they're never perfect and I don't really know how to get them perfect. So it's always worked for me though, so I'm going to run with it. Um, so I'm effectively following two patterns now. This is the pattern for this sleeve. This is the pattern for the dress I'm making. So I have to follow this sleeve pattern first. So I need to run some gathering stitches and stay stitches. And then also there's gathering stitches like in the elbow crook. So I'm gonna do that now um, and get this going so that it's ready to go um, and get the sleeve sewn together. And then I will attempt to set it today. So, wish me luck. This vlog may or may not be kind of short, um, as opposed to the last one that was epic. Uh, largely because this week I am going to, hi, there I am. <laughs> I'm going to Las Vegas for work, so I'm not home every night to try and sew. Um, so, there's that. I may actually bring a project with me, so if I do, I will vlog that. Um, I have a reticule kit from Penny River Costumes, um, Penny River LLC. Um, she makes awesome stuff and little kits for you to make stuff. So I have the stuff to make a reticule for my Regency outfits um, and it just requires a little bit of embroidery and I've never embroidered before. So this kit has everything I need in it supposedly. So I might bring it to Las Vegas and give it a go and see how embroidery goes for me. <laughs> A lot of this is first time, so wish me luck. Uh, there's a lot of wish me luck in this video. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'll let you know how I'm going with the sleeves as I get to that point. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I have set sleeves, you know, a bunch of times in my life and it has rarely gone extremely well, so we will see. I actually feel like sleeve setting went a lot better before than I before I knew that sleeve setting could go very badly. Like once I started seeing people complain about sleeves, then my sleeve st settings started going weird. So I wonder if we should all just stop talking about it. And maybe new people won't have any issues. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so um, yeah, my first like five or six costumes, I didn't have any problems with sleeves at all. Um, and then as I started learning more about sleeves, I had way more problems. And I don't know why that is, because you would think that I would get better. But no. Um, I have marked off the dispenser is getting done this time. I'm waiting until April 1st to order the fabric because I have a 10% off coupon after April 1st. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, I'm not sure. I might start on some of this this weekend if I get this dress done. If I just get this dress done, I will be super pumped. So I'm going to... I'm gonna take it as it comes and not pressure myself. This is why I'm sewing so early. Like this stuff doesn't need to be done until actually that thing that says August is really actually the end of July. Um, but most of the stuff doesn't have to be done until the beginning of September. So I'm giving myself plenty of space and obviously I have a bunch of stuff done but all the hard time intensive stuff is still on here. <sighs> so yeah, there's that. <laughs> okay. Cool, so I just learned something and I thought I would share it with you guys. <laughs> I learned to follow directions. <laughs> okay, so it said mark these two spots and then run two gathering stitches here, which I did. You can see how it's wrinkled. <laughs> um, and then put them at 3 eighths and then 5 eighths. And I'm like, cool. So I didn't do that, I did them at 3 eighths and a half inch because I don't know why I'm just dumb <laughs> so I gathered them down to 3.75 inches which is like from here to here ish and I gathered them up and it all looked good and then I sewed the whole thing together and when I pulled out the gathering stitches this is back to being five inches and not 3.75 inches because I didn't stitch over the gather I stitched where it was possible for it to be flat again 
So basically I have to rip this whole thing out and do it again. <laughs> um, but lesson learned. So, hey, let me learn your lessons for you. Don't be like Noelle. They say do the gathering stitch at 5 eighths, do that. Which means I also did them at a half an inch up here, which means I'm just actually gonna run just another one so there'll be three um, up there. So I make sure I have one on 5 eighths though, cause yeah, yeah. Also wanted to mention today's listening is currently Bill Bryson's Appliance of Science. He's the guy who wrote the brief history of just about everything that I was talking about in my last vlog. Uh, Bernadette says she has read a whole bunch of his other works and really liked them, so I thought I would get these. And these are Audible Originals. Um, they're short little, like, 15-20 minute things, and it's uh, him going through the Museum of Science in London, and each curator gets to pick two items that they give you the history of and talk about, um, and it's very fascinating, actually. And these are free if you're an Audible member, so everyone who's an Audible member, go get it. Um, people who aren't Audible members, uh, I recommend audiobooks. I, n not necess I mean, I like this form, like, um, app for that, um, and I don't mind the price of it and whatever, but there's free ones that you can get. Coming back to me. Do I look horrible? Let's flip this over. Um... I love audiobooks, but I have friends who get them th th through the library for free, so someone commented on my last vlog saying that you can just listen to a whole bunch of audiobooks on YouTube, so anyway, there are free options for you if you'd like them. I think also iTunes has a bunch of free audiobooks, and if you're an Amazon Prime member, there might be some there too. I know that they have regular books that are just available to you to read, so maybe they have audiobooks also. Uh, Audible is a member of the Amazon family. Anyway, thought I would talk about that briefly. Okay, I did it again at the right length and I sewed it together and I took this, the basting stitches out and it went back to five inches. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. So what I decided to do was just pull out the section that I needed and just do three tiny little pleats in there and I think it looks good. So this is the outside of the fabric now. The inside looks pleated, I'll show you that. Here's the inside. They're just teeny, teeny, tiny little pleats. So um, I'm gonna call it good because um, what's supposed to end up happening is it gets pleated up just a little bit. So I'm gonna say that that's okay. I am happy to take my time with these, but like, you know, I don't want to do this 16 times and rip out this entire seam every time, so that's what I did. So now I just have to make sure it matches on the other side. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay, seams are in. So they're set really nicely, and I feel like good about their wear, although they're like not exactly the same when it comes to how much of this crap is there, so that may have to get reset. The problem I'm encountering, really, is that this thing that seems like it should be at the elbow, you know, where these pleats are, is actually, like, where my, like, in the middle of my forearm. And then they're, like, six inches too long for me. And I know that Regency, like, dresses can come all the way down to your knuckles. Um... So I was sort of expecting that and like wanting that, but this like is past my fingers <laughs> by quite some some amount. So I've pinged my friend Claudine. I'm gonna maybe ask her for some help on what to do here. Um, and if I should just like cut this off and then narrow it down. And I actually think because I hang weird that I should take out this weird pleating situation and just let them be straight. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens when when I talk to Claudine. Anyway, I think I'm going to attach the skirt and, like, start thinking about a hem and closures and stuff. Because, like, I can deal with sleeves separately if I need to. So, um, I think that's what's going to happen right now. Okay, so we have a dress that exists. <laughs> Um, so I want to go to Claudine's house tomorrow and find out what's up with these sleeves. 
and stuff like that. I also want to know if we're good to go on this back closure, like if I can put buttons on here. Um, and then if the hem is good, like can I just hem it at an inch and then call it good. Um, the last one was good at the amount that it said, so I'm pleased with that. So this is where we're at right now. Um, so I'm going to stop with this dress. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is cut out my 18th century pattern so I can start thinking about that guy. So I think that's the best option until I figure out what's going on here. I don't really want to do the other Regency dress just yet. So I'm going to do that. And I have my pattern cut out. So I'm choosing to do this guy. Um which this is view A and this is view B somehow. <laughs> um, view B has um, this crazy long, so this is a polonaise um, and this is a Enferu round gown, I guess. I just learned about all this. <laughs> um, lots of Googling happened. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make this one because this, this is a lot easier, so I'm just gonna do this one for my twall. She said once you get this patterning sorted, you can just use this pattern forever without ever having to make another twall. So I am, I have it on the floor here, using this fabric as hopefully a wearable mock-up. Looks like that. Um, just for the gown part. I don't actually know what the skirt is going to look like yet. Or the petticoat. The reason it's on the ground is because it needs to get washed. And I need to cut some lining fabric as well. So all that's going to happen probably tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll cut this out yet tomorrow or not. I'm going to get to a certain point where it with it where I'm going to need to try it on and have a friend help me adjust it as well. So I guess I could point this at me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I will get to the point eventually where I will need help again um, with this and it's not very far into the process. <laughs> so um, I probably will try and whip the dress together just so that I can get help trying it on and stuff like that and make sure that the shoulder seam is correct and whatever. And as soon as that works out okay, then this guy's a go. So I'm gonna make a wearable muslin see how that goes. If it's crazy, I will just wear the wearable muslin and bring that with me. And if it's not that crazy, I might make a silk taffeta one to wear on my trip. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I am not clear yet on what I'm going to do. Uh, but that would be the robe and theoretically the skirt or petticoat. Um, done. So yay. I, I guess I'm not sure if I need a petticoat under my petticoat. That's one question I have. So I'm gonna try it on and see how it looks. Uh, it might need something underneath it to floof it out. So I'm gonna wear the pockets underneath it and also the hoops. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, I think that's enough for tonight. Um, not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm gonna go to tea with my ladies. Uh, that usually takes until maybe two or three. And then I might go over to Claudine's house to have her help me try on the Regency gown and see how that's going and figure out all that stuff. And then when I get home, I will either cut this fabric out, I will wash it for sure and iron it. I don't know if I'll cut it out or not. If I get enough knowledge of what to do here, I will do that stuff instead and just finish that guy. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'll be in Vegas after that um, for four days. So I am going to bring that embroidery with me. I've never embroidered before. So more stuff I've never done before. We will. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Sunday. So I can't work on that. But Claudine is on her way over here right now. So I will get it fitted in like 15 minutes. So that's great. Um, I cut out this pattern. But the fabric is in the wash. Can't work on that. So I have pulled out this guy, uh, which is the skirt that I'm going to use for Watson. 
so I'm officially working on Watson. <laughs> um, it's a good underskirt, just generic for this time period. Uh, and I'm of course gonna put an overskirt over it, so great. Um, so I've decided to use this one, so I'm gonna cut out the pattern for this, because that seems like something I could get done. Cool, so I opened it up and it is actually already cut out. I don't think I've made this skirt yet, so I'm like, maybe I did. Maybe I made this one to go under my polonaise. That's completely possible. And I found my pocket pattern, so that's great, because I was wondering just now in the car, where's my pocket pattern? Here it is. So, fantastic. This guy's gonna get pockets. I guess I'll go ahead and read these instructions and see what I want to do here. Okay, so Claudine has come and gone. We have tried everything on. It all fits. So now I can do the back closures. She marked the hem for me. And um, we fixed the sleeve problem. I just picked out those little pleats that I put in and the arm's just gonna be straight. I will put a picture of me wearing it here so you can see what it'll look like when it's done. I mean, that was the try on. Um, I also need to add a tuck to my bodice petticoat because it drags on the back a little bit and I don't really want a train effect because I'm gonna have to walk outside with it a lot so I should be close to the ground but not dragging so uh, I'm gonna add that tuck and I'm going to do the finishing work on this gown and then this one will be almost done I have to do the belts so I'm gonna do a self belt and then I'm gonna make belts in other colors because I have a whole bunch of fabric and interfacing and stuff and I can and it would be nice to have choices so this isn't like complete yet um, I still have a bunch of stuff to do but we're nearing the finish line um, I also washed my this is the wearable mock-up fabric for my 18th century um, so I'm gonna go ahead and iron that out and cut out a bodice and sew that together real quick so that I can go try that on and get any pattern adjustments for that done next weekend so I can get rolling on that one. I, like I said, also checked out my uh, Victorian skirt pattern. It looks ready to go so I can cut that fabric out too as soon as possible. Uh, I don't know how much more I'm gonna get done tonight. We're gonna go see The Matrix because it's the 20th anniversary of The Matrix today. So we decided to give it a go and go see it in the theater again. I was gonna go see How to Train a Dragon, but that didn't work out uh, because the Matrix thing came up. So basically, I'm just gonna clean up my room right now and get stuff sorted and maybe iron some of this and do that kind of stuff and uh, make notes about what I need to do just so I don't forget.